morning talking about a very important situation that many have encountered. All right, thank you so much, Ty. We'll talk about leaning on family and faith to weather the storms. A mother and her son have both written books to encourage others experiencing the woes of a breast cancer diagnosis. Authors Anastasia Stevenson and her son Corey joining us live with a look at their inspirational journey. And we got the girls as well joining us. Good morning to uh, all of you. Good morning. So Anastasia, uh, first of all, uh, we're looking at her beautiful family right now. Um, tell me a little bit about how difficult it was for you to get this diagnosis and, and, and go through everything that comes along with that. Yeah. When you still have a family and you still have your babies to look after. Yeah, it was life altering, but I thank God for faith, right? And mm -hmm. just knowing that with him all things are possible, right? So it was going through getting the diagnosis and then saying, we're going to fight. Mm -hmm. We're going to fight. And I thank God that I had a husband to support me in That's that time me. as well. Um, we decided to tell Corey everything to just have him aware of what was going to happen, all the changes that he would see. The twins at the time were only four, so they didn't really understand what was going on, mm -hmm. but we fought together. All right. And uh, Corey, tell me how it was for you to um, know what your mom was going through, right? Because our mamas, that's everything to us. How was that and uh, what made you decide that you wanted to write your own book? It was really scary and I felt like writing a book was like the only thing I could do to let all my emotions out and let everyone know what happened. Wow. You were so much, wow. How old are you, Corey? <laughs> Nine? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, when well, he's eleven. All right. And so um, you got your emotions out in that way and um, are you going to continue to be an author? Um, yeah, I've been thinking about writing a lot of other books. Okay. And so uh, tell me how you feel that your book will kind of inspire others uh, and families as well to kind of support one another really during this time. Yeah. So the gist of the book is going through all the phases of the, the, the process, right? And we say that once treatment has stopped, we're still on the journey. It's my hope to uplift, encourage, inspire, right? And also shine a light on the dark places that we don't necessarily talk about. The surgeries, what happens with the medicine, how it impacts marriages, families, and the bonds of sisterhood and friendship. Mm -hmm. That is so important on this journey. So that's my hope to just give that back to someone and just learn and lean in. Were you surprised to just kind of learn how receptive he was and how mature he was to be able to, I mean, he just said he, he yeah. used this also to um, get his own emotions out. How was that for you to see him do that? It's amazing. Like this kid, he's always shining. He always makes me better, right? And it's, it's, it's amazing to see how far he continues to grow. I feel like cancer made him grow up a little bit faster and I, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm sad about that. But I think overall, it did us all great joy just to see him continue to blossom and flourish. All right, that is that is just wonderful. And um, uh, tell me a little bit about um, how we can go and buy both of these books. Yeah, they're both available on Amazon.com or Barnes & Noble right now. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, thank all you of you. Us. This is just so beautiful. And I saw you, you. I don't know if you guys saw the smile that he gave her when they made eye contact. So I, I just love this. <laughs> Uh, if you guys want to hear this interview again and figure out how to uh, go and buy both of these books and support this whole family, go to our website, fox2now.com, and we'll have this interview posted for you there. Back